What is up, planet? It is the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at the life that you were meant to have or the life that you were meant to live. So basically, I'm going to be looking at your destiny and your future of the life you were meant to live in this lifetime. So I feel like this video is going to be super dope. When you guys are choosing this, if you need to pause and stop, I have a close up view right here of the different stones. I'll go into each pile. Before that, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, finding out about my courses, my book that's getting ready to be released in February, you can find all that information in the description box below. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the planet where we embrace love, freedom, happiness, and most importantly, truth. Thank you to my Patreon planet and my subscribers always, again, showing gratitude and honor for you guys, supporting my mission, supporting my vision and my message. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram at the tarot priest, I will be going live there pretty often and I'm way more interactive there. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what life you were meant to live or what life you were meant to have. We have four different decks here to choose from deck number one, deck number two, deck number three and deck number four again. All right, the overall energy for the life that you were meant to have is the secret of Camelot, the authority of spirit, healing the earth, love, humility, and respect. So already you guys are really, I feel like in this lifetime, going to be seeking more spiritual things, less than practicality. Okay, delicacy, fragility, and transcendence. I feel like just ba based off of these three cards, you guys might have had a struggle in this life with just understanding the separation. I feel like you guys are here and the life that you were meant to live is based off of more of a spiritual realm rather than the physical realm. Let's get more into this. Okay, yeah. So six of cups, the wheel of fortune. So this is a challenging time for you guys to move forward, but the life that you're meant to have is of love and respect, but also humility. But this is understanding spirituality. This is coming from more of a place of being able to dream. I feel like this, the life that you're meant to have is a dream based lifestyle however uh those of you who may be struggling with the practicality of life like the tangible things or life in general or the world you're going to be really challenged to change your perspective of how you see the world because it seems like what you really are longing for is harmony unity love and living a life that is more of more of a dreamlike life, right? So a lot of you guys have blockages based on being able to live out your dreams. This lifetime, you are meant to have and live. Yeah, and you guys could be an Aries. You don't have to be. I'm just going to be calling out some signs here. So don't get too technical with me in the comments about the sun or the rising or the moon. Um, this is just, again, I'm going to call out some signs that are coming up. The emperor and the queen of wands. So it's interesting because... The life that you were meant to live is in a very natural state. It's a place that is unlike what you guys have been experiencing, but it's really dependent upon you going after this life. Um, and the emperor is about taking control, being empowered of this life and not looking back. A lot of you guys are going to be challenged with past life energy, with the wheel of fortune and the six of cups. It's almost like you may have been here before. And the purpose of it is, is more than just yourself. It's about understanding that you are one with the earth and the earth is one with you. So how you treat people and yourself is also how you're seeing the world being treated. This is a very interesting thing because your purpose is not centered around the practical things that you've been focusing on life. This is more of um, appreciating the delicacy of life and also understanding that as you become more of love and you understand spirit, you will be able to have more of a dreamlike state. That's why in the beginning, I was saying that a lot of you guys feel like you have to live realistic lifestyles, 
which is systematic based or the matrix based. Um, you may have given up on feeling like there was something outside of the system or what you've been doing on a day to day basis. But that's also the life that you were meant to have. It's like you came here to release this energy from the past and moving forward. A lot of you were meant to have children in this lifetime. Again, for those of you who really desire to have children or a family, I do see that that's in the cards for you guys in the life that you were meant to have. But you're going to be challenged with, again, yeah, justice. That's where your challenge is at, is believing that you can lead, live this dream-like state of being. That's the challenge here, is, is understanding that it's possible to live the life that you want. A lot of you have not even allowed yourself to dream or have an imagination because you feel like it's impossible to have this life right the life that you that i'm seeing for you guys is a place of peace it's nature it's love it's people around you that respect you and love you wholeheartedly um it's family there's a lot of family things that are coming up too i feel like a lot of you guys are looking for um harmony within family and people you guys could also be a libra you don't have to be so we have libra and aries energy um a life of love is also here For Raphael, seek out other possibilities, look for magic in life, be aware of your own emotions. Exactly. So if you are focusing, if you guys chose this deck, a lot of you have been focused on the practical things like I was just mentioning, right? The system, going to day-to-day -day jobs, getting a good career, and the life that is for you is based off of a creative space of happiness. And also, um, I don't feel like a lot of you guys even desire to live in a busy environment. I feel like some of you guys, or majority of you who have chosen this deck, desire to just be in a place of peace and harmony and love. And so right now it's about you being able to open your conscious up to receiving the possibility that this life is achievable. That's the only reason why you guys are finding it very hard to be able to capture this life is because you're in your head. This is a life that you guys are looking for of peace. A lot of things have not worked out for you. So you're losing, a lot of you guys may be losing faith or maybe losing hope. But the question that's interesting that I will be asking in a lot of these decks is where are we going? Like what are, where are we after? And the place that you're after and the life that you were meant to live is very opposite of the life that some of you guys are currently living. With the tower card, we have a lot of Scorpio energy here. Like a lot of Scorpio energy. Yeah, we have the death card. So a lot of things have ended in your life, right? It's like you guys have built things and they fall apart. They built You build things and they fall apart. And some of you guys are confused as if this dream that you have, well, for, for some of you, you don't really allow yourself to dream much because you're so focused on what you feel like you have to do on this earth that you've not allowed much happiness or an expression of that to come in. So with the death card and the, and the uh, tower card, a lot of things have fallen apart, which has made your hope for this place or this life that you were really meant to live a challenge for you to even receive it. It's mentally, right? It's mentally understanding that this is possible. The chariot, it could be a cancer. We have a lot of signs on the board. We also have the empress. This is spiritual growth. And again, what do we have in the chariot? A mom, children, um, she's like, again, a lot of you were meant to have a family in this lifetime and a good, healthy family of love. It's like the desires that you have for the earth, you guys are being, you are able to create that in your own family home and structure, which is why family is so important to you guys. So with the Empress, this is about creativity, but this is the mother card, mother nature, and then moving forward in the chariot. You are not supposed to be living a life in lack. Some of you focus entirely too much on not having that you're not living, right? So the seven of swords and the five of pentacles, this is worry, overworking. A lot of you are overworking. Overworking and hard work is not going to get you the life that you were meant to have. The life that you were meant to have is very careless, very effortless, very flowing of love and prosperity and peace. Peace is something that I really feel heavily for you guys. 
judgment. Yeah, this is a spiritual awakening. So your life is going to change and be more on the path of the life that you are supposed to have when you have your spiritual awakening. The purpose of the spiritual awakening for you guys, group number one, is to get out of what you feel you have to do in this lifetime. A lot of you are missing out on traveling, vacations. A lot of you are not having fun. You're worried about bills. You're worried about your job. You're worried about uh, a family. Some of you already have a family and children. Um, a lot of you are struggling to find the hope that this place or this life exists. But I want to explain something to you. This drive, this feeling that you have of the life that you really, really are desiring to be a part of exists. You wouldn't have this deep desire for it if it didn't. Your higher self source and universe has given you this idea of what the world should be for yourself. And you've gotten caught up so much on your due diligence and the things you believe you have to do that the lack of creativity and the things that mean the most to you have been neglected. A lot of things are falling apart and a lot of things will fall apart, but it's for the purpose of getting you to this life that you were meant to always have. Um, but there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of fear of lack of not having page of swords. So yeah, um, dishonesty people, you guys have been through a lot. The hermit card is also here. So we also have Virgo energy. Now you have been through a lot and have spent a lot of time to yourself because of the aspects of the world. You're definitely here to make the world a better place. Yeah, care and compassion. That's where your heart is at. And what you really are longing for is care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. So your purpose in this lifetime is also centered around care and compassion and love, which is why you're deeply rooted in family. Um, a lot of you guys are meant to travel and experience new cycles, uh, but it's like you've come back and you're repeating these same cycles of getting caught up in the system and the ways of the world. That's kind of what's blocking you from getting to this place. We also have Pisces energy here, the moon. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. Your fears have gotten in the way of you guys uh, living this life that you really desire and dream of living. Change your life. Yeah, so you guys are getting ready to see, uh, right? A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the, the opportunities that bring change. What's interesting about this card is that he's seeing a whole world that's imagined. It's imagination, right? We love these movies of imagination and animation and all of this uh, feeling good or avatar or all these places, but we somehow can't make the connection that we can have that also here on earth. You're being provoked mentally to face your fears in opening up and embracing the, the possibility that this life that you were meant to have exists. Okay, so changing your life and this life of freedom, control issues. So this is not fearing other people controlling you, not fearing that if you do not have control over your life, that it will not be the life that you want. Actually, some of you, if you would let go and um, relinquish the control, the life, that you were meant to live is one of peace. Peace is at the ultimate uh, core. Peace and love and harmony is at the absolute core of the life that you were meant to live. But this comes from a place of gratitude and openness mentally that it exists. Again, shadow. So a lot of you guys are just dealing with your shadow side. Wellness, you're supposed to be here with wellness and triumph also is here for you guys to live a life of triumph. And then the last few cards that I have for you guys, which is very interesting is innocence and dance, right? This is a childlike perspective of life. Life is and earth is really going to be focused on your perception of it, right? It could be heaven. It could be hell. It's all based on your perception. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. However, because you've gotten caught up so much in the system, in your mind, in your fears, and the things that have happened, the things that didn't happen, um, a lot of doors that have been closed in your face, a lot of hope that's been kind of dwindling away, you've kind of lost sight of this. But what Spirit is saying is if you can get back to that childlike 
place that you were in before you knew of the world and the system that is actually at the core of the life you were meant to live like a child the world would be an entire playground you'd have no worries no concerns and even though that sounds really impossible it's very achievable and it exists and it's happening if you're willing to embrace it and open up and expand your consciousness and allowing that type of lifestyle so innocence is here this is about playing not taking life so seriously <laughs> right and take time to play nurture your inner child live with a childlike sense of wonder dance move your body manifest your dreams through dancing so you're going to manifest this life that you're living which again is a childlike life it's the life that you were living as a child and i'm not talking about your environments i'm talking about that place where you had an imagination that place where you were able to dream without your hope being sabotaged from the thoughts of other people saying that that can't happen not in this lifetime that would take this that would take that you're being very uh provoked into living this life in spirit and having the authority of spirit is also going to get you there. So for the most part, you guys were meant to live a childlike lifestyle. Also, we have the fifth chakra and a happy family. I knew that you guys were meant to have a happy family. That's why the family is so dear to you. We have children all over the place. Literally, is the life that you're supposed to live is from a childlike place. We have the circus. We have fun. We have dancing. We have a beautiful place of nature. We have healing the earth through laughter healing the earth through innocence and childlike perspective it is a child who is already a pure inventor oh man there's so much to learn with this and so with this happening right you keep going towards this life of a happy family now the fifth uh, or yeah the fifth chakra is here the throat chakra is because this is about getting into your emperor energy and making a stance on what you really want and going after it and not waiting for it to happen again but you're going to be challenged to break break through these mental um bondage traps that have kept you in the life that you're currently living now so you're challenged to get to this life of happy family of love and harmony of childlike perspective where you can actually enjoy life and have fun and not take it so seriously because trust me it exists it's going to depend on you breaking free from the matrix, the system, and the program, programmed ways of lifestyles of living. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in the life you were meant to have, the life you were meant to live. Don't forget to leave some comments down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in the life you were meant to have. All right resurrection come back rebirth renewal so already this tells me that you guys could have already been here um this place is more of like a dreamlike place it seems like uh this life that you were meant to live you already had visions of it also mountain lights light beams portals subtle energies so a lot of your life that you were supposed to or you're meant to live or have is one of magic magic and manifestation and also peace, because with the mountain lights, it's all about peace and serenity. But there's something about being on top of the mountain that really is coming to me. And this is about victory and overcoming a lot of obstacles in your life. But for the purpose of being a light, is there? There's polarity here. Yeah, polarity. <laughs> I figured it. Because you guys are meant to live a life of light and love. Um, and that's what I feel like you actually desire at the core of your heart. This life is, there's so many like dark places in your life that you guys could have been in or at currently right now. And so this place of dream and like the world that you desire it to be and the imagination that you have of it is actually been given to you from higher self. So if you're dreaming of a like world or you guys really love Disney or you really like imagination or dreams, this is coming from a place of where you're supposed to be the world that you're supposed to create now if you think that you are just one person remember one person is all it takes to change and raise the frequency and the um the vibrations of the planet and so a lot of you guys are learning a lot about the dark and have learned a lot about darkness whether that's depression or hurt trust betrayal pain trauma i mean you guys have been through a lot there's a lot of you on this deck for deck number two so I'm going to try my best to make sure that these messages are delivered. But the energy that I'm picking up is 
a lot of darkness. Some of you guys may have had to raise yourself as a child or go through obstacles in your life where there's a lot of darkness, right? This is for you to discover the light. It's, it's apparent that light is a way more powerful than the dark when you're in a dark room. So all of the things that have been happening in your life were to understand the law of polarity, good and bad, and also dark and light. And this life that you are meant to live is one of light, one of energy, magic and manifestations. Yeah, wow, look at all these mountains. Mountain goddess. So you're meant to live a high vibrational life of mindfulness and the power of the mind. So this is also about overcoming and, and learning how to use your mind as a tool and not allowing your mind to use you as a tool because it's very, very feasible. Kindred spirits, spirit companions, guides, and comfort. Wow. Your life is one of magic. And if it's not currently right now, you are either on the path to it or you are now just discovering that the life you are meant to live is way beyond the life that you've been choosing to settle for. And that's not a bad thing. I don't think you guys have been awakened to this. So there's just a bunch of light here. If you look at these cards, it's about light and magic and manifestation, but the power of the mind, right? I close my eyes. I can be in any country in the world with my eyes closed, even to the point where I can smell and even hear the waves. You're learning how to use your mind to create your reality of the life that you desire to live. So a lot of you would love for this world to be of, I don't know why I'm thinking of that movie, Beautiful Creatures, or just um, spirits of happiness and companion and, and having a world that's, the, the vision of the life that you guys have, this, this life that you really, really want to have, it exists in movies. I think that's why you guys are in love with the magic portion of it. Uh, but that this is the life that you're supposed to have of magic and manifestation. Comfort and guide. So it's de definitely spiritual. Um, also, Four of Wands. This is harmony. Marriage. Harmony in general. Harmony with family. Harmony. Like, you guys have just such a good heart. You just want the simplest things in life, right? Really great friends. Good family. Um, but this is the life that you were meant to have. And I think this is what you guys are working so hard um, to do. You also have and are meant to live a life of success and legacy meaning you're successful your children are successful and so forth this is if you chose deck number two this is definitely your reading ten of pinnacles is about assurance and stability family the dynamic that's definitely big to you guys but i feel like you would be more comfortable having children for those of you who want children who have it um, in a better world and so you're being challenged with your purpose to create that let's see what that is yeah, of infinite abundance. So if you guys have been really driven with success and wanting success and wanting prosperity and wanting to live this amazing life, it's because of who you are. You're supposed to be abundant. This life is meant for you to be abundant. We have Lord Ganesh, which is the ruler um, in the culture in, of um, abundance and prosperity. So you're learning more about money and understanding that abundance is actually magic. And um, I think you guys will figure that out in this lifetime of, of, of understanding abundance to be energy and magic versus a tangible item. We also have forgiveness. You are on the path of love, light, and forgiveness, Master Jesus. So a lot of this uh, healing that's necessary in your life, some of you, a few of you, I'm gonna say it because it's here. Um, there is some healing that's necessary in the family dynamics of your life. I'm not gonna say too much on that. The high priestess so in order to get this life guys this isn't about hard work dedication um how long you can meditate a day this is about following your intuition and having the spiritual aspect of your life uh, to help you as well because you have a powerful mind you're very smart and intelligent especially to the things that you put your mind to but you have to understand that this life that you're creating is not from a place of intellect or outsmarting the system or working out working the system it's all about your intuition and you guys do have spirit guides so your life is made for you to have a lot of spirit guides and to be living above the three-dimensional rim which is earth the five senses you actually are meant to have a life of that you guys could be a leo um that's the card that i have here let's see if we have any other the tower card we have scorpio 
two of pentacles so yeah a lot of you guys will come to a dead end road or have come to dead end roads very often when it comes to abundance or choices in your life and just remember where you're trying to go is this place in your mind of living a happy life and this is the place right here is high vibration light and love beings dealing with people of harmony not wanting to deal with conflict or drama right because the five of wands is here in the reverse and patience is here so it is going to take time and things are going to have to fall apart because what you've built for yourself is almost like a replica of the real life that you were supposed to have and so the universe and god is basically like Psh, tearing that down to say this isn't what you really want and if you thought it is why are you not spending enough time with yourself to know that this is not even the life you want this is even settling and so a lot of the times the things that you guys built are are kind of falling apart and you're wondering like am i not doing it right um is there another path am i on the right path spirit is basically trying to get you closer to trusting so that you can have this light of love and light but you have to be open to receive it okay be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance right your your life that you're meant to have is one of abundance but it's also spiritual things and magic and manifestation what you call magic and what I call magic may be subjective to opinion. However, magic is in a sense manifestation, things that appear, right? So another reason or blockage that you haven't lived this life of manifestation and miracles and, and magic is because you have to believe that you are worthy of that and open yourself up to receiving that. It's crazy that a lot of people love law of attracting and they're attracting things and when that thing that you've been asking for shows up you're questioning it but it's the thing that you've been asking for this entire lifetime but you have to be in a, sp a space and a place to believe that so a lot of you aren't receiving this because you're not open to receiving it because you feel like it might have to come through this way or this life I'm going to create for myself and my family is going to come through hard work and spirits like it's much easier than that. So you are learning delights, count your blessings, take pleasure in simple things, always expect the best. So a lot of you guys are overwhelmed thinking about how to create this amazing life of prosperity and love and light and just companionship and it's easier than what you're making it. Man holding a coin, again, this is abundance. This is opportunities and a lot of uh, money. Storm warning is in reverse. Again, this is the tower card. So if you guys are wondering where things are happening or kind of falling apart, that comes with the tower. That's actually the 10. New cycles are occurring. This comes from a place of trusting. Six of wands moving out of the past, moving forward. And it's like a lot of you guys, even right here, she's climbing a mountain. Like your guys is... This may be prevalent to you, mountains or peace, because it seems like it's coming from a place of peace. Yeah, here we go, peace. <laughs> it's like I'm on a roll today. <laughs> okay, peace. This is coming from peace. So your life, peace, it's like peace, prosperity, and power, but magical manifestations and miracles. That's the life that you're meant to have, and that's what you're actually working towards. But now that you kind of have that vision, I feel like you guys are going to be able to remove a lot of these blockages. The Six of Wands is about also public recognition. I feel like a lot of people around you are going to see you as being very prosperous and successful and are going to eventually ask you how you uh, were able to create that life for yourself. And so the Six of Wands is here. I do see that. It says, with the Peace card, release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So that also is a sign that there's a little bit more that needs to let go or letting go. It's more of like letting go of the time that you've spent trying to make things happen and letting go of feeling like you failed. Those are like the two biggest things that are coming up for me. Um, and then last but not least, patience. That's the second time we have that. Patience, why you guys are planting your seeds of manifestation you are in the right place to do so. Suffering in silence, speaking up more about what it is that you want and not settling in life for what it is that you don't want. Exactly, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career and artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. This says prosperity all over this lifestyle, but it's amazing because you have prosperity and you have peace. Now, a lot of people don't have the combination and that's a really big deal. All right, we also have changing your perspective on life. Okay, 
A wonderful new idea, don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress, clear up communication problems with others. So a lot of this is about speaking up for what you want. And I think that a lot of you didn't really know or don't know exactly what you want and that's perfectly fine. This is where you're having patience with yourself to getting to this life that you are meant to have. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. So with this, because you guys have a, actually, you guys actually have a gift of being able to communicate with spirit guides, but it's a little bit blocked. I think that you guys are working towards that. And in order to do this, there's a lot of trust that needs to take place. You speaking up, we have suffering in silence. So speaking up more, and remember the life that you guys were meant to have is a life of harmony. We started with harmony, right? The people around you, this isn't just your family, this is your friends too. So remaining authentic to yourself and revealing your true self is also going to get you to where you need to much quicker. Your true self is abundant and confident, but I think that a lot of you guys kind of tuck your tail between your legs and doubting yourself. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. You are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So we do have deep emotional healing. Remember when I started this, I said the polarity. Some of you guys have been through some very challenging, dark times in your life and you still have hope. But look at the future, like the life that you're meant to have is so beautiful and it's lit up. It's even if you have to put Christmas lights in your house year round to keep that energy of where you're going in the life that you're meant to have and live then it's necessary. Um, and so right now, the deep healing and removing things from the past and experiences of all these blockages, it's, it's mostly with yourself, believing in yourself and also believing that this life actually exists is where you guys currently are. But for the most part, the life that you guys were meant to have is one of magic, manifestation and miracles, meaning people are not gonna understand how you even were able to do some of the things you guys are getting ready to do in the future. And then the second part is the power, peace, and prosperity is the power over your own destiny and being able to create it for you. You guys are figuring out how to create your own reality inward and then seeing the repercussions of your energy. All right. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in the life that you're meant to live or have. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Love and light to you. Stay encouraged, stay uplifted. Remember where you guys are headed to. Moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is the life that you were meant to live or the life that you were meant to have. Overall energy, the mirror, past lives, dimensional lives. Light dancer. Illumination, the radiant self and shining soul. It's almost like your guys' past has secrets of mystery things that are gonna unlock a lot of future experiences. The Isle of Wonders, Revelations, Teachings, and Discovery. Absolutely, this is about a journey, insight. This is amazing. This reminds me of like the alchemist or someone who is like looking for something, some destiny. You guys have a deeper desire in life. It's beautiful, I love it. Out of uh, the decks today that I've gotten, I feel like this is very impactful. This life that you guys are meant to live is super impactful and also like a sorcerer, someone who just has a lot of information, but it's because of the discovery, the life that you guys are meant to live and have is all about soul searching, all about discovering the truth and what you are, who you are, why you are here. So we have magical tools, writing and star crafting. So this is about creating the future of what you believe you should have, having the ability to kind of paint your masterpiece, right? You're the master and the piece is your life. You're just painting this masterpiece. Um, but your past life, it's almost like you guys have been here before. Your past life is mirroring where you are today. So if you guys are wondering why the past is still like attached to you, or if you feel like there's a lot of things that are not under that you don't understand or why you're here or, or it's all a part of like the revelations that you're going to have in this lifetime. I love this light dancer radiant. So you're meant your life is, is, um, is in replica of your shining soul. So this is about finding your true authentic self 
and teaching and discovery of revelation, which tells me, you guys, the life you are meant to have is one of searching and journey. So if you guys are stagnant or dormant, traveling momentum is at the top of the core. Like if you could travel, not worry about money or finances, would you be excited? That excitement, that inspiration is actually what is going to inspire you. If you guys have not seen Interstellar, it's a kind of long movie, but I feel like it would really help you have an insight into the different dimensions. We have dimensional lives here and understanding that there is communication from your higher self all around you and it's leading you to your radiant self and your shining light of illumination. It's incredible actually. Um, the revelations and the teachings and the discoveries that you guys are gonna have, you're gonna wanna share. This is the life that you are meant to live. Yeah, Master Buddha. This is about spirituality, not religion. As most of you guys know, I always say that religion is completely different. Think, religion is man-made. Your relationship with God and universe, that's spirituality. And every time with every different person in perspective, spirituality can see and appear differently. So you have a deep connection with spirituality, which tells me that if you guys really wanted to, you can teleport, you can uh, communicate telepathically, you can uh, pretty much go to different dimensions, have more insight. I want you guys to think about this, okay? When you think about movies that are great, like E.T. or Stephen King or Steven Spielberg, who's able to create these places, or Avatar, these places that don't exist, right? This is coming from a place of imagination, and you have that also to take things that are not here like unicorns they were never here someone created them from their imagination in fact everything that's on this table was created from imagination a thought that then they manifested into a tangibility tangible item okay so i want to bring this to you guys in retrospect of logic because these places that you have are meant to inspire your manifestations here on life in life okay before i get too deep Let's see what's going on here. So facing fear, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. There's that word again, fly. So we're going to be looking out for freedom, flying, or anything to do with traveling, such as the world card and things of that nature. So six of pentacles, your life, what you put in is what you're going to receive. You guys are, uh, you guys are basically right now in a place of a lack of reciprocation. And that just tells me like, whatever it is, your job is not fulfilling, your family life isn't fulfilling, your relationships cannot be fulfilling, but there's a lack of fulfillment in your life and it's because your spirit is trying to get you back to this place. Also, Ten of Swords, a lot of resisting endings in your life are keeping you from this place. Yeah, it's a lot of past energy, mentally. You guys will have a lot of soulmates. You will have a lot of um, issues releasing people because remember the mirror is here. Your past is still a reflection of you in some aspects. It's like a mystery that you guys are unraveling. So you still have past life energy from other lifetimes that are going to need to be cleared. And that's why you have the 10 of swords and the six of swords in reverse. This is about constantly releasing and unattaching from anything, any contracts that you may have with people. Queen of Cups finding the fulfillment. And again, she's on a beach and there's a lot of water here. So water is important, guys. The lights are important and the birds are important. So we have the Queen of Cups and she's pregnant. So some of you guys might um, want to be uh, mothers. If that's a desire of yours and you're just like, yes, Tarot Priest, then that is for you. That's a confirmation. If not, then this motherhood is not for you, which is why this is more so about emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. All right, Five of Swords, um, there's some conflict. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, it seems like self-conflict. And this is about patience. A lot of you have already seen the place in which you were supposed to be or the life that you were supposed to have and live. And this is creating like an impatient energy. It's kind of like um, the last year of high school when you are senior and you're just like, oh, I'm finally done. And they're like, no, you literally have like, half a semester left and everyone kind of just blows through it because they know they're on the brink of it being complete that's kind of what you guys are having senior itis of knowing where you're supposed to be and really waiting uh excited to get there so patience is there ace of wands it seems like something's getting ready to happen to get you guys back to this um to get you on track 
mental conflict yeah so a lot of your challenges are mentally uh, conflicting and with self and facing fears so remember any fear that you have is a limitation and a box to keep you in so imagine the life that you're supposed to live is one of revelations and teaching and discovery and and there's a, it's bliss there's no lack you don't you're not really worried about lacking um and you're really enjoying discovering more about life but looking at your life now there's some mental conflict because i feel like your spirit is trying to pull you in one direction and your mind is trying to keep you in this complacent box our mind our ego is actually meant to protect us so the two is here is indecisiveness not sure which way to go to get the life that you um feel like you're meant to have seven of cups yeah so you guys might be dreaming about this i feel like a lot of you have a gift of clairvoyance being able to have dreams and visions to see things uh that's important because keep dreaming when you stop dreaming that's a little bit of a problem because of your lack of inspiration also eight of swords this is about freedom and six of swords it's interesting on this card this is probably my favorite uh illustration of the six of swords this is swords is all about mental clarity in, in your mental state right six is usually past energy she is moving towards the future in the future there's much more sun and much more happiness because you guys have been here multiple times or have graced this earth before it's like you're you're you have this tie or this chain around your foot to the past past energy so if you're living in the past you're not living in the present you're not living you're not live you're not here so She's following a fairy. She's following a dreamlike state to get her to where she needs to get to. But the Eight of Swords, this is about releasing and freedom. Do we have freedom here? Partnership, courage. Okay, cool. We'll see if we have more freedom. Angel of Love. So again, this is a lot of you who desire to have children. I definitely see that. And a lot of you who desire to be in a loving relationship. I definitely see that. Angel of Balance and Love. This is in your life. And Patience is also here. Um, in order to obtain the life that you're meant to, to live, these cards are essential. Having balance between the physical and the spiritual. So yes, we have to come down from earth. Um, and some of you are definitely dreamers. And the life that you're meant to have is created from that dreamlike state. But you're still learning balance and you're still learning patience. King of Michael. So this is a visionary. This is someone who has a really good... Um, sight ahead of the future right so wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls to be honest and open communication ambitious respected and rational so the king of michael is all about being in the future having a vision the king of michael also has uh steve jobs's energy this is just someone who has a vision for where they want to be and they're determined to get there that's also uh where your energy should be getting here we also have the queen so you guys are meant to be in a partnership you guys will share a partnership remember i said you guys are gonna have a lot of soulmates like this attracting love if you're not attracting love or feeling like you have a soulmate or a life partner there's a little bit of um you're out of balance or out of alignment yeah because we even have partnership you guys are made to be to experience this in a partnership lifestyle and in this sense i, I feel like it's avatar that love that they had for each other you also have that love but you understand that the love and avatar even in that movie it wasn't just like an infatuation. Like they had a purpose together to free that that world from the man-made, you know, you know the story of Avatar. And so that's what you're supposed to have as well. Uh, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. So exactly, you know what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for a career rather than relationships can be also something. But for the most part, whoever this is, they you guys both have a vision for um, doing something differently on earth. King of Ariel, this is someone who is pretty prosperous. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. Now, because you guys have this ability to um, see things or imagine, and you have an increased awareness, even if you haven't tapped into it entirely, and the life that you are meant to live of discovery, your mind is going to play a very vital role in this discovery. And so you will be successful in in finances and accomplishments and powerful because of where the life that you were meant to live requires resources financial resources in particular courage so you are only going to have this life 
of all this beauty, prosperity, also deep, like this fulfillment that you guys are having, I just want to be clear, this is not egotistical fulfillment. This is just when I see you guys passing, you're in a place of such fulfillment that you're at peace. Like this fulfillment is deep, deep insight that frees you. It's the truth. And that's the life that you guys were meant to live. And so be, when you guys discover this revelation of spirituality and why you were here and that you're meant to do more than just work and pay bills and have a family and retire and, you know, the same timeline that I call the timeline of the slave, you are meant to be very radiant and very shining uh, of a soul. And so your life should replicate that illumination. So right now, in order to have that, it's not just courage, it's fear, right? And boundaries that you put yourself in due to fear. So it's going to take courage, partnership. Okay. That's the partnership I was saying. And then also make time for self care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. Like I just said, your inner spirit is a reflection of your outer appearance. So the more you work on yourself, the more you trust that inner voice, this life that you're meant to have of deep, deep fulfillment is going to appear. You guys are on a journey, a soul journey. So easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. It is not as hard as you guys are making it. And that's what spirit is saying is that this life that you're meant to have is very effortless and easy. It is just a discovery. This entire life that you're meant to live is a discovery. And so when you stop asking questions and you start looking and seeking, that's when you stop living. The more you're living, the more aware you are and observant and um, you notice more things. You can never know too much. And when you feel like you do, then you're out of alignment. So your life was not made to be on this loop every day. And I think that you guys know that and you will get uncomfortable doing that. And so this life um, of wonders is not knowing, it's the unknown, which also expands the conscious and being able to have more when you don't limit yourself in the life that you believe you're supposed to have, rather than going and achieving the life that you were meant to have and live from higher self source and universe. So hopefully this was enough clarity and guidance for you guys. If you guys are deck number three, don't forget to comment down below. So I can leave some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to group number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in the life that you were meant to live or the life that you're meant to have. Overall, Aurora Garden, beginning, initiate, and origin. So basically, this is about going back to the start. The hidden worlds. Changing consciousness, awareness, extra sensory perception, not getting caught in the system. The tree of illumination, truth, revelations, and understanding. So the life that you were meant to live, it seems like it starts to happen and you begin living it based on the discovery of revelations, truth, and understandings that you guys will have. So a lot of this disconnect that you guys might be feeling or out of alignment feeling is because you are supposed to be following the truth. So your life is also meant to be very illuminated with understanding way more than what the world has already told you about life, okay? Remember when we get here, our life is pretty much predetermined for us as far as schooling and everything that we're supposed to do, but a lot of people die not doing what they really want to do. That's something that you're going to be challenged with in this lifetime because the life that you're supposed to live is a fulfillment emotionally. It's going to make you happy and it's going to con fully content um, or bring content to you. It's, it's more than contentment. It's fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is here. This is about a happy home, happy lifestyle. This is a life you were meant to live. King of Pentacles, some of you guys were meant to be entrepreneurs, having a lot of income, living like royalty. That's what you come to do. Even if you've come here prior before and you weren't able to figure it out, this is the life that you were meant to live is to be in, um, in control of your own uh, financial stream of income and um, having a lot of it. Now, the devil card is here. You could be a Capricorn. You don't have to be king of wands. Also, you're here to create. The life that you're meant to, to live is a, one of creation. 
The devil card is here, which is about freedom. Yeah, let's just see what these cards are. Yeah, freedom. Your life is meant to be of freedom <laughs> with the devil card here. This is about being able to live without limitations and borders. Um, also, your life is not meant to be emotionally lacking. That's something too, is being fully content within yourself. Three of wands, not waiting, not waiting, going after it. Yeah, it's a journey. Your life that you're meant to live and have is a journey. As it stops becoming a journey, this would tell me that you are not on the right path because there's so much to learn with the hidden world. You're going to discover a lot of things about this lifetime that a lot of people will not discover. This is a pretty heavy spiritual group. Also, I would say this group in three was the most spiritual um, group that I've had the temple path in the journey. So you're going to a place that a lot of you guys desire partnership and marriage and children. I do see that here, the life that you were supposed to live, but there's way more than just like the fairy tale here. This is about fulfillment also, very deep fulfillment, the waiting game. So not waiting, making a decision to go after what it is that you want and also facing your fears to have this life of prosperity, family, and also understanding of life, right? Because I, I want you guys to understand that these things of like love and all the things that we want, they're really cool, totally get it. But to have truth, revelations and understandings, this is something that very few people actually are able to accomplish. I think um, the Buddhist or some, some theory or a scientific fact with people who are actually awakened to the truth was like something around 9,000 people. This isn't something that everyone has. The tree of illumination is about um, secrets being revealed, revelations. And if you're, the secret is you being powerful but not knowing it because you were told you weren't, imagine what kind of life you would have with understanding why you're here. So this is a very deeper um, group as far as the life you're meant to live is one of understandings not compet um, competing, going after what it is in traveling also. As the journey and discovery is here, traveling is essential to the life that you are supposed to live. It's more discovery, more hidden worlds, more answers. I feel like a lot of you, the life you're supposed to live is visiting places that very few, very few people actually made it to. Also six of wands, public recognition. It seems like the life you were supposed to live is gonna bring you some type of recognition. Um, people will see that you have happiness and contentment or fulfillment and will want it as well. And they'll wonder why they don't have it. It's a, it's very, this is like a thin line for you guys, group number four. It's either you go after it or you don't like stepping into your emperor power and saying, I create my own reality. I have the power to create the life that I want outside of the world that I'm told that I, I must live or abide by. That's when things turn around for you guys accelerated motion yeah things are slowing down and they'll slow down and that's good because you don't want to be going accelerating in the wrong direction sacral chakra also you're here to create you have a lot of creative passionate energy the life you were meant to have is one of passion and if you're not living that life and it's kind of like the same thing every day or you're bored and it's not a journey this is supposed to be an exciting journey of adventure of discovery and revelation this is the life that you guys are supposed to live, especially with the sacral chakra. Not only that, material and spiritual prosperity. The spiritual aspect of prosperity is richer than anything you will ever have, <laughs> is to know the truth and to be spiritually inclined. Gives you access to realms of power and access to higher dimensions, which is what I was explaining in the last group with Avatar and Stephen King and E.T. and all these amazing movies that we love that are coming from a place of imagination, right? This place that they create in movies does not exist, but they allow you that experience, right? That is coming from the spiritual world. That world and having access to it, being able to see beyond this reality, there's nothing more greater and powerful than that. You will be able to literally skate and easily success in this world. Karma releasing, is move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. So you're here to create your own path towards what? Changing consciousness also. Once you discover this truth and revelation of understanding in this lifetime, you will then want to share that with the world. Not only that, we have freedom. Freedom is also flying. It's an adventure. It's a journey. 
live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. So again, your independence is not allowing someone to be the pilot of your plane and you being the passenger, but rather you being the pilot, having complete des uh, ownership in, over your destiny and living free. This is claiming your own freedom and independence, creating your own path. While the world says, I must live this way, you guys are meant to live a life that says, eh, I'm going to try this. This feels better. I want to, I mean, if we're going to be here, let's enjoy it. Let's be free. Let's be happy. Let's create our own path and live wild and free. That's kind of where you guys are seeking right now and the life you're supposed to live. Now we have anger. This one is very interesting. We have use anger as a positive force, honor all your emo uh, emotions and, um, and as sacred. You guys, I feel like the things that have not happened, because this may seem far-fetched to you, this may seem too good to be true. Really what this anger is coming up from is things that didn't happen in the past. A lot of you know you're supposed to be and live, be a certain person in this lifetime, your authentic version and your greatest version of yourself and have this type of life. And sometimes that can, cr can create anger or regression because you're not there or frustration for not being there. But again, higher spirit is saying to basically honor these emotions, to release them and try something different. Remember to create your own path and remember who the hell you are. Goddess, honor your divine feminine energy, see your inner beauty, love all part of you. You're meant to be a goddess in creating a world, a heaven for yourself. This life that you're meant to live is beautiful. Okay. Let's get into these cards. Leap of faith. It's going to require a leap of faith. This is also the full card. This life is heavily predicated on your spiritual growth and your spiritual relationship. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. This is the start of this lifestyle. The leap of faith. Faith requires what? Absolute trust in spirit because we can't see it. There, it's unknown to us and, and where things are unknown or don't make sense on how it's going to work out creates a fear of being able to leap. But that's why it's called the leap of faith. You must have faith in order to achieve this lifestyle. Two of Ariel and make a decision. It's important to have balance working multiple projects or jobs at once making work fun. So again, a lot of you guys are after this lifestyle of um, success and fulfillment. Working hard is not the answer. You do not have to work hard to attain this. This is just, again, access to unknown. If you have access to information that half of the world doesn't, you will be at an advantage. And that's why I said group number four, this is a deep deck. This is a spiritual deck. And so a lot of the things that are going to happen, your answers and your keys are going to be in the spiritual realm. And that's where the journey is. That's the discovery of finding yourself and finding the truth or your truth. Divine guidance. Yes. Trust. The search for meaning in life, okay? The search for meaning in life. This is what you're on right now. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. And so again, this is seek seeking and discovering the secrets of the world. The world. I have very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. Last group got insight. You guys were the two that were like heavily embedded in spirituality. But for the most part, the word, world is about traveling, new cycles, and allowing new things to happen in your life. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as a graduation. Increased support. Again, if you guys are not on this path of spirituality, it is absolutely the answer to the life that you want to have or live. Again, when I say spirituality, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about your connection with source or that feeling of universe and God. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance of help and opportunities. So don't forget to be open to receive all of these great things that you guys are working hard for. The last card that we have is purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Anything that is not bringing you to this life that you are meant to have is not for you. The combativeness, the energy of doubt, the fears that you have, the limitations, the limited box you guys may be putting yourself in. This is about your imagination and exploring a higher realm uh, and higher spirituality so that you guys can create. Remember, imagination, thoughts, and everything that we have about ideas 
it starts with an idea and then we manifest it into the physical realm you guys also have that ability to do so and in order to get there and have this life of fulfillment because that's the life that you're meant to live is of fulfillment and fulfillment in every aspect including spiritual fulfillment a lot of people come to this earth they have no idea why they're here you guys will know before you pass why you're here and that answer is is something that people have been seeking lifetimes for it's very precious so don't take advantage of it or don't overlook it it's literally right in front of your face so if you guys chose deck number four this is the life you were meant to live or have it's amazing and it's incredible as long as you're open and willing to receive along this journey don't forget to comment down below so i can leave some words of encouragement back to you guys and also, thank you for tuning into this Pick a Card reading. It is an honor always to be able to guide you guys with my spiritual support. Love and light to you guys all.